Given the ever-changing landscape in manufacturing, what lies ahead? Over 200 business people from Victoria's manufacturing sector attended a forum hosted by Chisholm Institute, one of the largest vocational and education training providers in the state. Hosted by James Kirby, a highly regarded financial journalist, author and regular commentator on the ABC, the evening featured four influential panellists from diverse manufacturing and policy-making backgrounds, which included the Honourable David Hodgett, MP, Minister for Manufacturing, Jerry Ryan from JCO, Jim Griffin of Diver Consolidated Industries, and Adrian Bowden of the South East Melbourne Manufacturers Alliance. Also in attendance was the Honourable Nick Wakeling, MP, the recently appointed Minister for Higher Education and Skills. The evening's panel discussion covered a diverse range of topics, which ranged from the impact of free trade on local business, shifting government policy, private investment opportunities, workforce capabilities and diversification. One key area of focus was the need for greater collaboration within the manufacturing sector. A uh, key word that was mentioned tonight was collaboration. I think collaboration is extremely important where we are. The more we get out and network and really understand the, the resources that are out there for us to draw from in business, that there's a lot of people that can assist to make your business stronger. The strength of the networking that's happening down here in the, in the southeast, and I think you've got a lot of opportunity to actually garnish more uh, out, out of that. Chisholm will shortly be announcing future dates for their series of industry leader forums to be held over the coming 12 month period. So the whole panel um, had us all enthralled um, and I would be looking forward to the next one. People job ready with the skills that they need so that's the great feedback we're hearing from industry is here, uh, people are coming out of those courses now job ready rather than doing courses or uh, getting involved in training that's not necessarily going to prepare them for the workforce. It was very successful. I saw people here tonight I've never seen at any of the other networking functions. So it speaks to the organisation as well as the content.